Area of I Anne bet Frank. you there's there's so much shit we haven't even fucking found at the bottom of the damn ocean. Like your dick? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, if it, how is it in the bottom because of the it's ocean? it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make My sense. My dick is small, but it's dense. It's I've, not, I've a, talked it's about not it. attached to his body. <laughs> I dropped my dick swimming one time, <laughs> and it was so heavy it floated all or reverse floated to the bottom of the. Earth. Yeah, it was sank. Your dick that was <laughs> the word I'm looking for. It sank. I said reverse floated. <laughs> oh yeah, Holocaust. I centers. love being fucking smart as hell, dude. Yeah, <clears throat> Bruce too was just born a woman. No, Bruce was doing it to be cool, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that must suck. That's why I still call him Bruce. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. Well, that's past tense. I was saying in the past tense. You still call him Bruce. Or her, Caitlin? Fuck. I call her Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah. I, I don't call her Bruce. Gender. I call I don't her Bruce. Gender. Is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I call her <laughs> Bruce. I do not misgender. You're saying she's a woman. But I do not change her name. Um, Bruce would be a cute woman's name. Kunta Kente. Would you fuck a woman named Bruce? Uh, would I fuck a woman named Bruce? But she's hot as shit. Yeah. But it's her she- name. <laughs> Who cares about her name? <laughs> she's hot. I don't know, man. Just throwing a hypothetical out there. Trying to get good conversation going. I don't know. It was a funny hypothetical. <clears throat> George, my my buddy George, asked me this hypothetical. Um, think of the woman that you've had sex with that gives you the most shame, or person, uh-huh. most shame. Would you fuck them again, or if like I'm on my deathbed, and it's my dying wish that you fuck me, would you rather fuck me on my deathbed, or... Or the woman that gave you the most shame when you fucked her again. That doesn't make sense. Wait, it's your dying wish? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It does make sense. It does does make sense. (laughs) Would I, would I fuck, but it's your dying wish that I fuck you? Yeah. Then I would fuck you even if the option was like, do I fuck the hottest woman in the world or do I fuck you for your- Oh, wow. What a good guy. What's your dying wish? Of course I would do that. (laughs) But you have to think about fucking me and I'm dying and shit. And you think that image is in your head the rest of your life. I don't care. It's I, the image of what? Me being a good person? Yeah. The one time in my life I did my the ass, right thing? My hairy bad ass. I, mean, I don't I know. I think ass. dying wishes are a waste. You're about to be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, who Thanks. cares? So Nick's answer is he would do it. That's good. Thank yeah, you, I would Nick. probably do it. At, I would do it for you. Thanks, Probably. Guys. How about this? Uh, I, think I, I think I've asked you this a year years ago. Uh, the, hot, the woman you want to fuck the most, right? If she's like, hey, I want to fuck... Or here's what I want to do. I want to eat your ass. Mm-hmm. You can never tell anyone, and that's all that's going to happen is I she eats your ass. That's it. That's it. And you can't tell anyone. She doesn't jerk you off. You don't jerk off. Would you get your ass eaten by her? Yeah, why not? But, but that's not like a... There's no downside I'm to just it. asking. What the fuck? Yeah, the, you don't understand how hypothetical <laughs> no, questions are. Yeah, it's not I a just, good hypothetical question. All right, question hypothetical all. question. <laughs> Somebody comes to you and says they're going to give you a million dollars. Yeah, I was about to say. But yeah. you have to keep the money. <laughs> do you do it? Well, I'm just asking here, boys. Brilliant thing good you could prank, do Nick. to fuck up Google Glass. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be to fuck up Google Glass. That would be my fucking world domination shit. F- and oh. while everyone's shitting. What are you doing? Robbing the banks. Oh, motherfucking the coward Jesse Joyce. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. The coward Jesse Joyce. <laughs> what is that? Joyce? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> that's, 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 you don't that's even good, know what that? you're referencing. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah. fuck am I thinking? The assassination of uh Oh shut the fuck up, Adam, you fucking retard. Oh, I have to let him know what it actually is. I have to show everyone that I know the second half. He doesn't He doesn't know, know any of it, so let him fucking continue to say it dumb. <laughs> Don't correct him. That way. You <laughs> fucking idiot. I'm sorry. You fucking um, fun ruining um, fucking um, teacher's pet I'm bitch. Teacher's <laughs> shut pet. the fuck up. The teachers never liked me. God damn said, it. Oh, I got it. Hold on. The I know what it is. Of Robert Ford. Of something Ford. <laughs> by going. the coward <laughs> Je- Jesse going. James. He says it's Jesse James by the coward something Ford. Right? That's it, right? <laughs> yeah. Jesse Joyce. <laughs> no, Jesse Joyce is a coward. The coward Jesse Joyce, dude. <laughs> dude, have you seen 
I hope Jesse Joyce hears Jesse, that. No, nah, I fuck with Jesse Joyce. He's funny. As no, shit. he hates you, dude. Coward, dude. Jesse Joyce. Me. I didn't mean that. Just <laughs> called out Jesse Joyce. We all. No, I, I want everyone to message Jesse Joyce <laughs> no. and say, "Stop called out Jesse don't. Joyce." Hard. I really respect and him. And call him a coward. Coward. He's a call him a coward. He's a great joke writer. That is a terrible insult. I didn't mean it to him. I was trying to come up with a fucking movie about. He's the head writer of At Midnight, bro. I saw Zav chopping up lines of Sweet and Low. He said because he was gonna lose him some weight. He's been sounding with Swedish fish, (laughs) (laughs) making him swim upstream like salmon would. What's sounding? Up your dick hole. Yeah, you've been shoving Swedish fish up your dick hole. Would you suck a Swedish fish out of a guy's dick? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hmm. (laughs) 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 What a (laughs) trade-off. Wow. Another one of my world famous hypotheticals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of pros and cons, you know. I, I hope someone does like when I know I wouldn't think about it. Before, that Dude, would be I, a good supercut of our show if someone did every single one of Stav's no, we should terrible shoot, hypotheticals. We should shoot a guess a game show that Stav has. <laughs> I write the fucking people are like, no, of course not. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn. <laughs> oh fuck! All right. Well, yeah, yeah. anyway. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody gets the money then. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh fuck! Damn. And he was yeah. um uh the actress everyone sucks off now, that was also in Deer Hunter. But I'm lose. Come on, you guys know she was. She's probably gonna uh, play Hillary soon, and everyone's gonna fucking get get fucking stiff. I haven't seen Deer Hunter in forever. You know who I'm talking about? The main. I think Devil it's Prada. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fucking so funny that, like, <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, fucking the, one the that, Iron Lady. The one that gave the speech against Trump. Yes, yeah. the Hel- one who stopped Not Trump. Helen Mirren. You know Come that. on, we know her name. You know her name. She's Someone like that big, that big <laughs> actress. Someone fucking say it. Come on. She's the most Nick famous actress. I've already moved on in my head. I need to know. I want to make a point about Deer Hunter and, like... Who, she was in Deer Hunter. You drive through Western Pennsylvania, and it's like the worst fucking part Fuck. of the country. It just sucks. It mm-hmm. sucks to look at. It's yeah. bullshit. Fuck. But it's not really in film ever. So when you see it in Deer Hunter, you're like, wow. It that looks fucking, like it is. Yeah. What the fuck is her name? The distinct, <laughs> like... <laughs> What's her name? You know her fucking name. Oh, God. The woman from... Yeah. Deer Hunter. Yes. The famous lady. The old lady now, who's a good-ass actress. She's won a bunch of fucking... Oscars, the most famous We're actor. So Meryl, Meryl Streep! Fuck yes! <laughs> Woo! God damn, that feels good. Meryl <laughs> Streep, baby. We're so dumb. <laughs> We're like the dumbest. I'm, I am stupid. No, I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, Nick uh, got it I wanted I, to move I on and make Meryl my point. Name. <laughs> I, I saw Sav chopping up lines of sweet and low. He said because yeah, yeah. he was going to lose yeah, him some dude. weight. He's been sounding with Swedish fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Making him swim upstream like wait, salmon would. Wait, what's sounding? Up your dick hole. Yeah, you've uh, been shoving uh, Swedish fish up your dick hole. Would you so suck a Swedish fish out of a guy's dick? <laughs> but, um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a trade-off. <laughs> wow. Another one of my world famous hypotheticals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of pros and cons, you know. I, I hope someone does like when I know I wouldn't think about it. <laughs> that would be a good supercut of our show if someone did every single one of Stav's no, we should terrible shoot, hypotheticals. We should shoot a, guess, a game show that Stav has. <laughs> I write the fucking People are like, no, of course not. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. anyway. Uh, uh, I don't think anybody gets the money then. <laughs> good night. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, people were shorter. Like a hundred. Yeah, years people ago. were definitely yeah. shorter. People, people still had the same potential for growth that they do now. It was it's just they didn't eat as better good food? diets, and then nah, now medical. No, it's evolution, bitch. I think it's evolution. It's it's absolutely evolution. not. First of all, you don't know how fucking evolution works. Yes, it's not there's a, thing a where fucking over... little horse, and its neck is too little to get to the pond, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> over time, <laughs> keep going, <laughs> go time, off, bitch, go off, time, reach the pond. <laughs> over time, longer neck, a uh, horse with a longer neck yes. drinks from the water and yes. fucks because he's hydrated, yes. and that's how you get giraffes. Yes, bitch. after you find lower and lower ponds. Uh-huh. So your neck has to get and or tall leaves on tall yep. trees. <laughs> you get that's what that's how evolution is. A little ass horse, you know. So thank you. I know how it works. Old Charlie Darwin over <laughs> here. Chuck Darwin. Chuck Darwin. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, you got my Jew lawyer. Yeah, yeah. My Jew yeah. lawyer is gonna take a look <laughs> at this gym contract yeah. for me. Make sure I'm not getting fucked over on my annual rates. <laughs> uh. I love Italians who just are like fucking, 
you know, guys that work at a bank that talk like, yeah, you know, like they talk like they're fucking mobsters. They're like, oh, I could take that deposit for you. What, you mean they have a New York accent? No, but like they, they make everything <laughs> yeah, seem yeah. like it's fucking, <laughs> they, they act like mobsters. That's, they're not, like, that's not a mobster accent. <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm talking about, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> guys who talk like they're in the mob, pretend they're in the mob. They're like, yeah, I'll take that deposit, but you yeah. know, one I think, day I, I will th- ask you for a favor. I think we should jail those guys. I don't like their tone. I don't I like think the we way should they jail talk. them. I think, I, I think you shouldn't be able to speak that way. It is true. I don't. I, I don't that? think he was kidding, dude. The kid yeah. had a fucking look of horror in his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of like, laughing. because I thought molested? he was doing a bit because everyone was talking about the first time they fucked, mm-hmm. and uh, and one kid like had a fucking thousand uh, thousand mile. What is it? Hundred miles. Thousand thousand miles did you just say thousand island stare? You <laughs> no, fat fuck. Thousand mile. Yeah. You beat you shit. fucking. I don't fuck. fucking, First of all, oh you said like thousand. God. Are you? I don't just, even fucking like that. You doesn't just matter. That is the I fattest thing you've ever done. Thousand island. You cock. No. You mi- just no, did mile. it again. No. Now you I just did it, did it again. I said thousand island. I did not say. You said run the tape back. You said thousand island stare. I literally did say that. This kid's got a thousand island stare in his eyes. This poor baby. <laughs> this boy. Wait, what it was like the phrase? It was like the Battle of Numb Palm. Thousand Mile Stare. Thousand Mile. You said Thousand Island. I did not, bro. <laughs> yes, you did, dude. I, I vehemently denied dude, saying that. you're sweating, you dude. You're sweating mayo right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, ain't nothing wrong with mayo. Mayo is paleo. <laughs> You gotta make really it out good. of good ingredients. You know, I'm. You know, the whole white people be like thing, like. Mayonnaise is legitimately very good. Stav's, I agree. Stav's uh, stuff shell shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck both you cocksuckers. My friend, uh, I won't say his name, but he got fucked by an old black lady. Amber, you missed a great one. Yeah, Stav, so. Stav was trying to say thousand yard stare, and he said, "Oh, yard." He yard, said, "He yeah, said right. thousand island stare." <laughs> <laughs> I did not, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I did not, bitch. <laughs> I did not. First of all, what even is that shit? Ketchup and mayo? That's Russian dressing. I don't fuck with it. Box. I don't think I'm going to get That camp. would be very funny. I don't funny. think I'm going to get AIDS. Yeah. You're you, probably low risk for AIDS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's probably incredibly low yeah. risk. And that you don't I heard have it, sex. Stop got AIDS from a what? trolley bright crawler. <laughs> Somehow he managed what? from a what? He managed to get a gummy form of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I put it into my dick hole. I sound with those little gummy worms, dude. Would you suck gummy worms out of a man's penis? You're so Another nasty. one of you. His <laughs> hypotheticals <laughs> make no sense. And then, and then, yes, would you? No. Would you? Like, what if the man had AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Sav asked me, would you fuck a woman that's like got a hot body but has an old woman's face? Yeah, would you? I mean, I would. I would, yeah. F- I mean, would I? Yeah. Like, fine, yeah. Okay. Like, well, answer the fucking question. It's not, don't make it's a not big like, deal about no, it. No, but the stop move would be if you had said no, and then he's like, what if she had both an old woman's face and an old woman's body? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not yeah. how this works. Just, you don't understand incentive. <laughs> yeah, like, what is that? Well, would you suck the gummy bears out of a fucking guy's dick? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Gavin McInnes came to our show in DC. Funny no, mobs. Funny mobs. Yeah. When? When? I don't know. That's what Amber said. Oh. Amber when? said he popped his head in, looked around, and then left. Interesting. Cool. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I don't he wanted know. to suck us off. Maybe. Would you let him? No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't either. Dude, you're so bad at hypotheticals. I'm just asking. Would you let Gavin McGinnis? Shoot or shoot, man. <laughs> shoot or shoot. They're not all going to be great, but sometimes... Here's a, I got a hypothetical for you. Would okay. you yeah, but let... you're fucking O for 47. No. Would you let Vice... I'm going to warm up at some point. And then there was that one standalone episode with the lesbians. Yes, the... that's the one I was talking about. That, that was old ladies great... fuck yeah. on the internet. Yeah, yeah. And they're hot, too. Hmm? Those two old ladies that fuck when they're young... They're good to go. They're hot to trot. No, 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 no. <laughs> they're going to die, and you put your fucking brain in a computer. And they're hot. And then you fuck. In the, it's like the 50s or something, and the, or yeah. the 80s, I guess. And then you fuck. Yeah, the 50s or the 80s. <laughs> it's one of the two. <laughs> Very hard to discern which decade that was. It's you the know. 80s. It's the 80s. But it, the reason I <laughs> thought the, like 50s the 50s <laughs> is because when I was... <laughs> this is such a retarded reason, but because I just assume... Things um, about fuck, fuck, fuck. I got it. Hold on. 
if you're going uh-huh. <laughs> in the past, uh-huh. if something was in, if the characters went to the past, it was the 50s. But it, because but it's set in the, the future... They have to go back they go to the 80s. To the now, w- watch as we blow Stav's mind by letting him know that the 80s is also the past. <laughs> that we are currently not more, living in the it's 1980s. It's a more recent past, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stavros, who was born in 1989 <laughs> and was alive it's for a, all 10 it's months. It's a more of the recent past. 1980s. <laughs> That's what I mean. You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. You boys get it. I don't got to explain it to you. I mean, you do. <laughs> yeah. It didn't make any sense. You, you said know, something it, dumb. And... Anyway, you get it. It's fine. It's all there. Maybe I should uh, clear my nose out with a little... Uh, a little something? Yeah. A little Drano? A little, a little nose Drano? A little weed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Nick tapped his nose. Yeah. And snorted. Yeah, I gotta do some weed later. <laughs> I gotta snort. I gotta chop up some yeah, weed. Yeah, if you pardon me, I gotta go look at child pornography <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Like, yeah, you know that's worse than cocaine, right? <laughs> Oh, is it? Oh, I thought they were... I thought cocaine was one down from looking at child porn. Damn. Yeah, that's how you get your fix. What if just looking at co- child porn, co- and you didn't like it, right? Uh-huh. But you looked at it, and it did the same thing as cocaine. Would you look at child porn? But it was free. Wait, you mean, what if I looked at child porn, and it made me look at child porn? No, 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 no. You go to the bathroom, and yeah. you open up a picture of a kid I was making a fucked. joke about what cocaine oh, is. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah. And you looked at a, pic- a picture of a kid getting fucked real quick, and it made you feel like you just did some good-ass coke. Would you look at child porn? No, that's just being a pedophile. No, 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 because you're not getting horny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're, not, oh, yeah. You're, not in the, you're not in the child porn, but you look at it and you get this incredible rush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of blood rushes yeah, to yeah, a yeah. certain part of your body. <laughs> yeah. What kind of hypothetical is that? Adam's right, man. You really are bad at hypothetical. No, dude, I'm saying it makes you feel like you did coke, dude. Come on, man. Look, whatever. You spend money on coke. I'm going to be doing you it for free. You don't Looking like, at child yeah, porn, yeah. all right? <laughs> you... you Fucking. You don't like looking at child porn, but you look at it because you you have to because you're addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, do you do? You get into a bad mood uh, yeah. if you don't live. It's been too long. Yeah. Your energy level dips. <laughs> right. You do it because you can't forget the 80s. Back when you had a sitcom. Back when you were on Rodney Dangerfield's Young Comedian Special. <laughs> And now you just moves from city to city, trying to get younger comics, impressionable younger comics, to watch YouTube videos of your act from 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah of Johnny Carson smiling at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. In the green room. But not because you like it, but because you're addicted to it. Because it feels like drugs. I was a big Greek mythology head as a little boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Troy's interesting. That was, Troy's interesting. Interesting. That was, that was truly my shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It contrasts all these different ways that like men specifically look for some degree of immortality or longevity or extending their lives beyond, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like it's researching Italian. Italian. Uh, yeah, yeah one of them is literally fucking immortal. The other one is mm-hmm. like Except his, for his dedication ankle. to his family. What's that? Except for his ankle. That's okay. Yeah, we all know that. Huh, Nick? Shut up. Literally, huh? bitch. What if it was his asshole? What what was that was what if she put her finger in her at, in his ass and dipped him in the River Thames uh, or yeah, sticks? Yeah, then his, his ass yeah, would the be river his own sticks. <laughs> the River Thames, yeah, yeah. the River Thames is where <laughs> is where Greeks go. Whatever, man, shut the fuck London. up. Is a is the wrong way to say <laughs> river in <laughs> England. I think it makes more sense to call it Thames. It's cooler, <laughs> or say Thames. Is it Thames? Yeah. It's Thames. Thames? That makes no fucking sense. Yes, well, that's Thames. just how they say Thames? It. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm the asshole. It's not how... I thought her name was uh, Hermoyne mm. when I used to read the books before I, the movies came out. I thought it was Edmione. Because that's the Greek... That's the Greek... Greek that's the, it's a Greek name. Hermione, yeah. And they say Hermione, and that shit sounds dumb as hell, if you ask me personally. I think so, too. Whatever. <clears throat> Yo, uh, I was just listening to a fucking... About Titanic, you know? And it's about, like... About what Chicago? If Chicago was Titanic. Yep, mm-hmm. that's a good All idea. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Chicago shit is hot. Yeah. That, you got uh, Chirac. 
Mm. You got uh, what do you mean? You got Chirac? That was like four that movie years from ago. four years ago. Yeah, Chicago. You got I won an Oscar. You got Chicago, like, Miramax like Pictures, ago. Richard Gear, um, Richard Gear Museum. In you got Chicago. Chief Chief Keef, one of the best, one of the hottest rappers. Everyone's <laughs> talking about the Richard Gear Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real museum? Yeah, there's a yeah. gerbil wing at yeah, the museum. Richard Gear Museum in Chicago. Yeah. Nice. So the, it's in the Willis Tower. The top floor is all like the Richard. There's like a whole. It's like the gerbil experience wing where you go and you're on a wheel for a while, Mm -hmm. and then you're like in wood chips taking a shit. Why? And then the last room is you go into his asshole. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. It's it's what's funny is you could have gotten Stav to believe that there was a Richard Gear Museum at the top of the Willis Tower if you didn't say that gerbil shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, He'd be like, seriously? Oh, is there not a museum? <laughs> no, I didn't think it was in the fucking Willis Tower, but who knows, man? There you thought there was Gear a Richard Gear Museum? Gear museum. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot! There's a Liberace Museum. Shut up, bitch. Liberace fucking, was your obvious ass fucking gerbil joke. Yeah. Liberace was a fucking. Actual Staple. gay guy, not, yeah. a, not a gay guy according to fifth graders. <laughs> okay, that's that's and kind of just like a, sort of a shitty actor that got way too much work. Every gay guy uh-huh. gets a museum. Yeah, which that's is true. Cool. There could have been. There could, I guess you're right. What the fuck would be in the Richard Gere museum? <laughs> yeah, I don't right. know stuff from every movie. Yeah, you're in? officer and just somebody gentleman. walking around with a Mothman prophecies mug. <laughs> I didn't think it was like a big museum, <laughs> but like right. I've been a little museum <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a room. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of shit. Yeah, check out my Days of Heaven snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> I got at, the, at the Richard Gear Museum. <laughs> I don't know, man. The fuck? There I could be to... a whole part about him not not jizzing, right, or something. That's Sting. No, it's Richard Gear too. Mm, I don't think so. He hasn't jizzed in <laughs> thirty years. I think. I would this see this whole thing. His ball sack is like his a suitcase. Fat balls. He's a yeah. Buddhist, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a Buddhist. There's probably, there would be some Buddhist shit in there. Yeah, you could I'm learn just about saying, that. man, there's little fucking shrines to, of guys. That's great, dude. Bonsai, Bonsai your, helps pull you out of the rat books. race. You know what I mean? It's true. You feel like this, this painful existence we all live. We, we do us nothing. especially. We get money for some <laughs> yeah. reason. Yeah. What's that shit they do with like sand and then they like, like the rake Zen it? garden. That's a Zen garden. Mm hmm. Yeah. But like you have bonsais you in You get there. one of those at the Richard Gere Museum. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm saying I would I would pop into the Richard Gere Museum for a little bit. Yeah, if they actually had one, I would see why there was a Richard Gere Museum. <laughs> yeah, I would get plane tickets for the three of us yeah. to Chicago. Of course. I mean, of course it would be interesting if it actually existed. But if I was like... Let's say there was no such thing as the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, there's a car shaped like a hot dog that goes around promoting <laughs> the world's shittiest hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. And you'd be like, seriously? You'd be like, no, you fucking idiot. What would be the point of that? And then they actually made one. And No, that's no. you just proved yourself wrong. No, dude. I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What yes. was, what, how am I wrong? Because you, didn't, you don't dream to imagine. I don't dream to imagine? <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't. Yes, you don't. You don't dare. I'm sorry. You don't dare to imagine. You know, if you told me that thing with the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile and it didn't exist, I'd be like, "Great, can't wait to fucking see it." You tell me the thing about Richard Gear Museum, I'm like, "Oh, that's pretty mm-hmm. stupid, but that's cool." Stranger things have happened. You know, I'd love to go in yeah. and see. You know, the deleted scene where he actually penetrates Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. I'd like to see that. Did he do that? Oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah, That's because fuck. I dreamed to believe. You dreamed to imagine. <laughs> Wait, he, he penetrates who? He fucks Julia Roberts in the deleted scenes, and that's part of what's in the Richard Gere Museum. Does that actually... Is, is there a video of him penetrating Julia Roberts? Yes. Well, I don't know. I mean, you can see fucking Christopher Lambert's balls in Fortress. Yeah. Well, in the world where the Richard Gere Museum exists, yeah, there is video of that. That's the world I live in, Nick. Okay? Yeah. A beautiful world where you could see his dick going to Richard Gere Museum. How about this? Pussy because they're worried the about doing numbers at the Richard Gere Museum, they have mm-hmm. the Gear and Space Museum. Oh. It's the Air and Space Museum featuring Richard Gere. Yep. That's like, like that. that's a fucking, that's a twofer. Right? That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's, exa- that's a great the idea. That's a Smithsonian Gear and Space Museum. <laughs> it just becomes a dumbass idea for a museum if it's just Richard Gere <laughs> to a very good deal. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because yeah. then you got you got Richard Gere and you got Space. Then you go see the fucking yeah, shuttle. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah uh. dude. You can go see the, the, like, I believe 
by 19, <laughs> by the end of the decade, we will put a man on the moon. <laughs> yeah, you just go into the next room, and it's like, but it's some kind of moth man. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then what's the one where his wife cheats on him? Uh, unfaithful. Yeah. Yeah. That's we talked one. about that the other day. I used to check off to that movie. That was a, that's a hot movie. She really gets pounded out by that guy. By that Spanish guy. And mm-hmm. then he kills her at the end. He does? Yeah. And he goddamn what? gets... He kills him. He kills the, the other man. Oh, Richard Gere kills the guy? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The other guy, uh, Diane Lane, gets railed the fuck out in like a staircase. Ooh. I used to jack off to that. Sounds pretty good. All the time. I mean, America with three Ks is the dumbest shit anyone's ever Who get, come up with. Ice Cube, Ice Cube came up with that, yeah. America. I mean, I'm sure he didn't come up with it, but... Yeah. That's like the dumbest. It's so stupid. I think the first time they they came up with it, it was pretty good. Probably. It's like the night is young. The first time someone said that, that must have been cool, dude. The night is young. The night is yeah, young. Yeah, cool. I, you must feel the first guy no. who said that. No, if I had never heard that and someone said that to me, I would be. Boo! Yeah, yeah. No, that's because you don't no. like. You don't have a sense of. Remember, you don't dream to imagine. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. You don't have, <laughs> who you said don't, that? I did. You don't, have, <laughs> you don't dream. You don't, have, you don't have a sense of fucking. What do you do? You taxes in your dreams. It'd be great when they have like a fat statue of you outside an elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to dream to imagine <laughs> the Stavros Halkia school for kids that were too stupid to get into regular special <laughs> education. <laughs> no, they have to be both fat and stupid. Yeah, Thank you seven, very much. Seven periods of lunch. <laughs> 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 One period of the teacher is drunk, so we're going to watch Price is Right. That sounds fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. I'm about to fucking make a Stavros Halkis home for exceptional... Exceptionally fat. The home for the criminally retarded. (laughs) (laughs) We need to bring we need to bring that term back. (laughs) (laughs) Do you fuck with the show Ghost Rider as a kid? You like that show? Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I love that show. I liked it, but I didn't understand it. It what fucked my head up. What do you mean you didn't understand it? I watched it a lot, and I didn't retain much of it. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> it, was, it was really heavy. It was like yeah. a ghost, right? It's so straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> it's four kids that are friends with a ghost. <laughs> I just don't remember what happened in it, you know? So I chalked that up to not understanding it as a kid. Uh, yeah, I used the... to watch Barney, but I couldn't put it together. <laughs> yeah. It was like, what is this? This is like Lost, where you gotta, you gotta yeah. go online and fucking... the diagrams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like a David Lynch endeavor. <laughs> no, there's a it's, it's like not thriller. About Greek food. It's probably the best thriller. I know people are going to have a problem with me saying that, but I, I saw. I, I can rewatch. It. I can rewatch Silence of the Lambs like probably every single fucking day. That is like it's like the perfect thriller. Nice. Um, he's only in, he's not in that long, right? Or some shit. Who? Anthony Hopkins. No, yeah, he's, in, time, he's in the entire movie. <laughs> I thought he's in there like 20 minutes or His some face shit. is on the cover of the movie. Yeah. I know, but I thought... <laughs> 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 I thought he like... This, he, this film, are there lambs? I thought that's what was so good about his acting, was that he was barely lambs? in it and he was that good. Are, are there lambs? I mean, maybe about he's like not... Hero? Maybe he's not like... I mean, he's not in it as much as fucking... Uh, uh, what's her name? Starling or... What's the... Jodie like, Foster. Jodie Foster, yeah. But I mean, he's definitely like... It's in a, as a supporting role, like yeah, yeah, prominently yeah. featured in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To say that Anthony Hopkins is barely in silence. <laughs> that he's not in it that much for so much starring in a movie is my point. He's I not think. a supporting cast. All right. Well, that, that's yeah. He's in it. He's in it probably as much as uh, what, Ken Levine or or what's his Buffalo name? Buffalo Bill. Yeah, yeah. Buffalo Bill. Nice. I was like, I was joking with somebody. <laughs> I want to do like a. Like a magic, like a street magician special or whatever. Uh-huh. Where, but you do things where it's like, um, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna think of a number between one and two thousand. I'm gonna think about it, and then you say the first number that pops into your head. Four thousand, uh, one thousand. You got it wrong. So. Eight, nine hundred. You said four thousand. Nine hundred forty-two. <laughs> you already broke the. You, I don't know how you found a way. <laughs> you said between one and two thousand, you're like four thousand. <laughs> All right, but then I, I don't understand how you found a way to ruin this. <laughs> I was all right, but I said nine forty two. That's my real answer. Nine forty two. Anyway, anyways, the street magician's like, yeah, I'm thinking of a number between one and two thousand and the first number that pops in your head, I want you to say. Yeah, fourteen. That was the number. Yeah. And then everyone's like, Oh my god. <laughs> that was it. That was the number. White boy magic. 
<laughs> then he walks over. To that the is room. good. Did you ever listen to your mom get fucked from no, the other room? Never. I, my mom has not. My mom probably hasn't fucked for twenty years. Whoa, really? Yeah. Well, nineteen. No, I don't know about that. What do you mean nineteen? Or I mean one year. What do you mean <laughs> One year. I was trying to say I fucked her last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was re- that was good, man. It's like I fucked her when I was um nine, so nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good hypothetical. One thing I was wondering uh, hypothetically was if you told <laughs> this is so good with the Harvard shirt. If you told, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. This is good. This you know. If you told the religious guy, <laughs> yeah, let him right. let him. Finish, you told, my understanding, this is what advanced philosophy yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is two hundred level. Class. Yeah. yeah. If you hold the mic like this too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if if I if you told the religious guy that yeah. Jesus had a little dick, mm-hmm. would he be mad? <laughs> Would he be? Because yeah. what, what are you, you saying? This is you can just say hypothetical. That's not a hypothetical. That is not, that is not the <laughs> meaning of a hypothetical. <laughs> literally <laughs> test that immediately. There's zero consequences. Well, you would he find be mad? That's religious. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a thought experiment then. All right, it's not mm-hmm. a hypothetical. No, the whatever. hypothetical would be if Jesus had a small dick mm-hmm. and you could prove it, then mm-hmm. would it would it hurt people's faith uh. or give them more faith? Well, that's what I'm trying to know because mm-hmm. if you're mad, what are you saying? That little dicks are bad, but also, which is fucked up, but also, <laughs> for no, I don't care. I'm just saying in general it's bad. Uh-huh. The way it's bad to be mean to anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have a personal stake in that. Mm-hmm. I just mean in general it's yeah. bad. But just, al- It would make sense if he just had like an awful tiny dick and then he's just letting the Romans kill him and he's like, yeah, it's because I'm God's son. <laughs> 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 That's why I'm allowing this to happen. It's not for any other reason. That's true. He didn't put They're up going to take off all his clothes. He's like, please, just let me keep the rope part on my car. <laughs> let me keep the diaper. <laughs> I'll wear a diaper. It's worse than nude. <laughs> just give me a diaper. Put the thorns on my head. I don't give a shit. Just let me keep the diaper on. <laughs> yeah. They don't have a phone number. There's no phone Here's number. Here's what I think of Patreon. It's I like, I'm not some fucking anime <laughs> faggot drawing pictures of Donald Duck, you know, <laughs> as, <laughs> like as Sailor Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. I'm a legitimate both sailors. fucking businessman. Donald Duck yeah. and Sailor Moon are both sailors. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> That is a good point. I actually, I'm going to give it to Sav on that one. I didn't say that it didn't make sense. I'm going to give it to Sav on that one. I said that's not who I am. He's just drawing connections. Yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, yeah. go from column A to column that's, B. That is true. Both Shadow the Hedgehog and Shadow from Homeward Bound are both named Shadow, so it would true. make sense if they were fucking each other. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I stand corrected. Uh-huh. Maybe Patreon shouldn't be answering my emails. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck point are you <laughs> Pointing something out, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet. Yeah. That's the thing about this show. It works on different levels, man. A lot of free layers. association. You got the whole. Listen, you got the through line. I'm coming through with little Easter eggs. Yeah. You know, for uh-huh. everybody else. I'd rather Nick stay in his apartment all day than me stay in my. Apartment I won't stay in my apartment. But that's the thing. It's. What are you talking about? Even when we did. Also, when I stay in my apartment, I get things done. I get writing done. I get things done too. I just don't tell you guys about it. You just said you did. No, I just like going outside. You model clothes for Dasha for her to wear to our auditions later? (laughs) Of course. I try on her outfits first. (laughs) She wants to see how it looks on a smaller frame. What was that storyline where I was wearing all of Dasha's clothes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We put them on and we fucked each other. (laughs) And we also fucked each other. Yeah, yeah. We're like, this is And we ride a motorcycle between her ass and her pussy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was a really fun bit. That about, was a good one. About raping my girlfriend. Make, whoa, forcing, whoa, forcing her whoa, to be Forcing whoa, her to be whoa. naked. No, it was consensual in the fantasy. No, it was not consensual. She comes home, and she literally doesn't have anything to wear because you're wearing all of her uh, clothes. Checkmate. <laughs> so yeah. you're forcing her I'm a, to be I'm naked. I'm a sexual genius. <laughs> yeah, sexual, sexual villain. Sexual villain, dude. <laughs> That's right. That's okay. how it comes full circle. Uh-huh. That's stop. That's your my, my sexual villain sidekick name is Full Circle. The full Circle. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. Bring me that lady's clothes. Uh, I can't wait to be the full circle. <laughs> and that's how I pose. I can shrink into smaller circles, and I pose next to titties. 
Oh, and they, cool. I sneak into their bras. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> just, just some dumbass woman being like, what's this? Oh, that must be my third tit. <laughs> that I must have always had. No, I would target women with mastectomies yeah. who, ha- who uh, forget. Oh, that, yeah. That they got oh, that's right. I do off. have a tit that's a small Greek man <laughs> <laughs> whose no, power is that he shrinks himself to sneak into bras. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, next to, I'm not even touching the other titty. I'm just in yeah. a different cup. <laughs> I love the logic and physics of your mind. Oh, it's a fantastic place. It does, it does, it's it does a beautiful make, mind. It your mind, just mind is, make, it just mind doesn't is a, make any yeah. sense. You're, you think in cartoons. It's, pretty much, it's, it's like it's Mary pure Poppins reason. cartoon world. It's pure reason, and it's beyond our comprehension. Yeah. That's right. We can't really, we don't understand what's happening, but it makes sense. I'm at the next level, baby. <laughs> yeah, to be like, well, I don't know if you, it would be cool if you raped my girlfriend. He's like, look, Donald Duck and Sailor Moon are both sailors. <laughs> and they're like, well... I guess. I guess. I'm just pointing stuff out. I brother. guess that mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. I guess those two add up in a way, <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> oh fuck! Look at this. These got these ice agents. Literally, they're wearing fucking Darth Vader masks. Yeah, dude. I mean, they're fucking pieces of shit. But I mean, it's got a Darth Vader mask on. Do you think ice could truly fuck the sh- fuck shit up? Like, what do you mean? I don't know, man. Do you think... I don't even know. understand that question. Do you think that... Do I truly think that ice could fuck <laughs> shit up? Like, okay, they're fucking training them with guns and shit more so and fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Stop's, fucking, stop's question hour. Fucking... Damn, I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm kind of... I'm actually scared That's a little right. bit. That's right. Articulate, my brother. I'm actually scared a little bit that these motherfuckers might do some raids. They're talking about denaturalizing fucking... Already citizens. What about what if they come from my mom, dude? Who's saying that, dude? That was some fucking guy on Twitter said it, dude. So it must be fucking true. Yeah. I can't. Little Venetia can't be back in Greece. You'll never be happy, and neither <laughs> will anyone else. Right? <laughs> no, Maybe that's man. The truth. You will be happy. What are you being a bitch for? Why I, not? I feel like I've been getting happy. If you're never gonna be happy, then then it doesn't matter if you're not happy. No, that's some fucking dumbass Buddhist shit, dude. Yeah, I'm Buddhist, dude. Are I've you? been learning about Buddha. People seem to go Buddhist. I've been smoking that Indonesia, dude. People seem to go Buddhist and claim it's like a religion. Is it? What? <laughs> Is it? it feels Did you hear like, that sentence? Yeah, Nick? people go Buddhist and claim that it's a religion. Isn't it like and claim to think that it's a religion. <laughs> just, isn't it just Did you hear that I sentence? wish I could be as dumb as stop. <laughs> you could be, dude. Dude, that, that's just, a- just fucking surrender. Don't think. Um, yeah. Say whatever the fuck comes into your head. My little brother actually put his finger in a light bulb. He sh- my man got electrocuted as a little kid. Damn. His fucking thumbnail was black for like four years. And his fucking hair straight up stood up. Wait, like like inside of the glass, like the filament? No, no, touched? no. Like the little fucking, if you unscrew the glass, the little electric part. The sock. put it his sock, yeah. Oh, th- fuck. You unscrew the glass, the little <laughs> electric part. <laughs> You're like the amount the the lack of access you have to the English language is fucking astounding. You know what the fuck I mean. I I, we know, but like you should also just know what a socket is. That's not what a socket is, man. Who was it that called electrical outlets the holes? I don't know, but I like it. Stop. It wasn't me. Somebody's but like, I wish it you was. You know, the holes. <laughs> I didn't know. Just the Who holes? Said that? I can't remember. I can't remember the context. It might have been from something, but they just didn't know it was it's called so an funny. outlet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's hilarious. Freeze. Today's episode is brought to you by Cracklin' Oat Bran. Oh, really? My favorite cereal. You really like that shit? I love that shit. Crackling it was my first oats? favorite cereal. Is that, that the it little... the first cereal oh, I was even aware of. When you could that you could have a favorite, and mine was Cracklin' Oat Brand, and it continues to this day. Wait, is that is that's not Grape Nuts, is it? Like no, the little no, okay. Grape Nuts is a completely different thing. Okay, <laughs> it's a different brand. It's not the word that I said. <laughs> I know, but I thought <laughs> no. Hold on, mm. hold on. Let me explain myself. Mm. I thought maybe Cracklin', Cracklin Oat, Oat, Oat Brand. It's just not Frosted Flakes. <laughs> <That's not a, laughs> no. We're talking oatmeal. <laughs> what I thought it was was maybe a generic version of Grape Nuts. No. No, it's Cracklin' Oat Brand. It's, own, it's his own thing. Brand, not brand. brand. Is this like Raisin Brand without the raisins? Um, no. Um, but answer my question. What's the question? If your dick tasted like a strawberry, would you suck it? Or at the very least, would you run your finger across the head and then put your finger in your mouth to get a little bit of the flavor? I mean, why not? 
there's really no there's no <laughs> I don't know if there's no what's the what's the if you're what's the bad part of that, that scenario also it would probably be warm which is not the way you typically interact in I got movies. I've gotten head like I've gotten tip before in a self suck scenario when I was younger and more limber I don't yeah. think I could do it anymore yeah also it was weird to have a penis in my mouth well not for you the first time it was yeah but you've gotten used to it since right what do you mean Nick, would you suck your own dick if it tasted like strawberries? It's not a good hypothetical. Um, <laughs> my own dick if it tasted like strawberries. Yes. Thank you. I would suck my own dick if it tasted like... Um, like uh, shit of another man's ass, yeah. which you do a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you got to clean it. You got to clean it off. Globes. And, yeah, and, and I made a video once where, I, where it was like... Uh, it was, these were like early ass video, like camera phones, I guess. Mm-hmm. I think I had a little, I had like a little handheld weird video thing. Um, anyway, a handheld weird video thing. <laughs> a camera. <laughs> he said camera. <laughs> he said camera three times in different contexts. Yeah, but it was like and then it was so he said smaller, it was bro. camera phones, or maybe it was like a web. Anyways, I had this handheld weird <laughs> video thing. It was smaller though than a camera. But yes, it was a camera. It was just weirdly shaped. Just a handheld. <laughs> <laughs> my god it was it was the shape of a cell phone now but it was like a little fatter and a boxier anyway okay. it was a camera fuck okay. you the griffith park yeah, observatory yeah, yeah. yeah what is that never been just, there. i don't know it's a fucking pendulum but just getting mad it's at a child for having pendulum? those physics yeah. pendulum? but it's not it's the other foucault it's the math one. oh not the philosopher yeah not the, there's two foucaults i yeah, thought i didn't the, know the, there was the, another one what is it the post-structuralist and then there's the one that does math yeah i think now what's or maybe post-structuralism? Oh, you know, know some gay shit, some, some easy <laughs> shit. Some, you what's know? the structure that they're? Adding I won't after? learn it because it's too easy. Personally. Yeah, yeah. So philosophy literally is just. Well, anyways, like learning how pendulums work from a from like a, a <laughs> yeah. third grader. <laughs> right, it is. What's that? <laughs> philosophy is just asking basic ass questions. Yeah, like, like uh, what is stuff. Uh, <laughs> what are things? Kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> this would be a great stand up <laughs> shot of you yeah. with a microphone. Stop, Rose Halkin. What you is know, What's stuff? the meaning of something? You know what I mean? Yep. What are we doing? Mm-hmm. Sure. You know? I think yes. science asks questions, basic science, questions. Science has more complicated shit they're dealing with. I think philosophy can get pretty complicated. It can, yeah, it can be pretty complicated. I guess they do like good ass hypotheticals sometimes. Yeah, good well, at a certain <laughs> point, they figure <laughs> a lot to think about. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good ass hypothetical <laughs> right there. I watched yeah. Alien last night on this TV. How was it, man? It looks great, man. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Mm-hmm. The Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, Sigoff me wiener. Sigoff me wiener. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, she looks so much like Danzig in that movie. Oh yeah, is that why you're attracted to her? Uh, well, it's why I'm attracted to Glenn Danzig. <laughs> yeah. it's a very, it's a real chicken or the egg situation. Uh huh. Yep, that's what that expression means. Yeah. When two <laughs> things look like each other, you go, wow. That's, yeah, no, that's, is this a chicken stop. or an egg? Time out. I'm right. I don't bitch. know what's the difference. No, between, no, no. Stop. Break it down. Let's. Hear I it. will break it down. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. yeah. Who's the here's, sexual here's, attraction? St- which came first? Do you want to fuck Danzig because she lo- he looks like Sigourney stop, Weaver? Can't tell the difference. Or do you want to fuck chi- Sigourney Weaver because it's she looks not, like that's Danzig? That's not chicken and egg. That is chicken or the egg. Stop. That is chicken or the egg, motherfucker. I would. One hundred percent. I heard you. One hundred percent. That's textbook chicken of the That's egg. Not, <laughs> <laughs> Which came first? Danzig wanting to fuck Danzig or wanting to fuck Sigourney but Weaver? But that doesn't mean that it's a chicken of the egg. It is, scenario. though. This is a classic chicken A chicken, chicken of the gives egg. birth to an egg. No. Right? No. And then the egg what hatches and then grows into no, a chicken. No. That's yeah, but no. then if that's the case, then Thank- you could never use the saying. Because it would right. only apply to one fucking things thing. Things that give birth to this things. Is, well, things that are analogous a, to that. Yeah. yeah. Things that give birth analogy. to things. That's, no, that's, that's actually, not what that means. Well, guys, it could you be can literally actually, or figurative. You can actually just place bets on this shit. Can you, oh, oh, can yeah. you yeah. use you it in it? a sentence then in your in your definition yeah. for something Which else? Which came first, than? the chicken or the egg? Place your bets at bet the What came first, the cow or the calf? I mean, these are the only things that give birth to. If you go to bet the SI. Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, thank you, Bonnie. I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet that Bonnie's right and bet the SI. <laughs> You'll fit in here. No I will never agree with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the idea. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. Oh, I, Dude, see. I watched yeah. Adaptation again. No, nah, yeah. fuck that movie. And he's he's so you don't like that it? That movie is amazing. Uh, I'm too stupid to get it, man. What do you mean? It's there's nothing to get. I don't <laughs> like it's not I, I, I just don't no, what's a big a fucking esoteric. deal? It is he like, becomes it. himself or something and then he's no, he what the a, fuck is the orchid? Who cares? And then we're following whatever no, some other it's, bitch. It's, a, it's an article written in the New Yorker that he's adapting. Oh, right. Right. So that's that's why it's called adaptation. Okay, and it's but about, then and at the, the end is, he's the himself is about or something. A New Yorker, or is that uh, is about an orchid thief? Well, he's driving out of the fucking parking lot, and it is him or it's not him. What's going on? Is, is it like a double? <laughs> <laughs> what for? Re- is he imagining himself? Is it always him? I, no thanks, man. Let me watch Dread. <laughs> Let me watch a motherfucker get shot in the fucking head. You didn't even know what Dread was until I showed it to you. Yeah, I, I'm saying yeah. that's exactly my kind of genre, and I knew what it no, was. If bitch. you had known about it, you would have. That would if it, it was your thing, you would have already. Known I thought about you would it. like no. that movie because the scene where he beats off to the picture of Meryl Streep on the book jacket. Respect well, he to that. Beats movie. Off, yeah. He beats off to every woman. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie. <laughs> listen, respect. But not even like her body, yeah. just her. Face. The best is when he's. I've like, done that. When he's like <laughs> beating off to fucking like Tilda Swinton. Whoever his fucking like literary yeah, yeah, yeah. agent is, yeah. she's just reading the book. She's like, "Oh, you're a genius." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, oh, fuck, fuck thanks. my dick. Whatever, oh, man. Fuck that adaptation. My That's my take. Yeah. Is there Maybe no like, like magic or like weird shit? I don't even remember that, that happens what, in adaptation. You just saw it. Yeah. There's, there's, is there? I don't think there's like. Is a, there some kind of magic or some kind of? <laughs> <laughs> is there like something spell? like that for real? <laughs> no, there's no magic. No, I don't think so. There the is. guy is the guy the whole time. He's not imagining anything. Yeah, he imagines things like much like well, most he's people. writing himself into the story, and yeah. then he becomes a fictionalized version of himself. It's uh, okay. There is an imagination aspect to okay. it, but I would say that a human being does he ever interact? I would say that you, for <laughs> instance, imagining that you're fucking someone isn't you're not doing <laughs> magic. Magic, in your brain. first of all, it absolutely it's not a is. magical. If no, I, it's if it, just something that. We're but all does he ever interact with, with the fake version of himself? It's not the like fake does the, does the fake himself. guy it's come his, out of the fucking movie and knock brother. on his door or some shit? What are you talking about? It's his twin. Doesn't brother. that happen? Oh, like in the movie? Yeah, like the guy from the yeah, movie. Yeah, he becomes part. It all just sort of wraps in on itself. It's like sort of spiraling. But then the fake guy he's imagining, does he ever like knock on his fucking door and he comes out and Wait, he's looking a third at third Nick Cage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like that. The it, yeah. What do you mean? Is it magic? <laughs> Nothing like that it's ever not happens. Magic. He's just imagining. Oh, maybe I confuse his brother <laughs> with like a magic version of himself. Well, or something. going into it, you have to understand that like <laughs> that Charlie Whatever, Kaufman man. is a real guy. Yeah, and the main yeah. character's name is Charlie Kaufman. Yeah, but yeah. he always does weird shit. And like, uh, well, Charlie Kaufman is a real guy. That woman, uh, what's her name, Orlean or whatever, is a real person. Like all of these, Susan are real. Orlean. Yeah, he that... was hired to adapt the screenplay. Did he ever do it? That, well, That's that, that was the is. script they turned in. That was the adaptation oh, of the book. Because he said Stop that. Out, right? sucks. That was literally... <laughs> fuck that, dude. He didn't Why? Do it's the a job. book about flower thieves. Yeah, let's That's fucking, a be- That's That better. sounds cool to me. No, I he, so he, he... I don't think that's... They hired him key. to adapt the movie, and then he turned in that script after... Because they... Op- you know, he showed it to... What's her mm. name? Susan Orlean. And initially, she was like, fuck no. We're not fucking making this movie. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She did what Sam just said. Yeah, yeah, which she should have done. This. She should have stuck to her guns. Fuck and then they you. made it. And it's one of the greatest movies of no, all time. it sucks. I think it's really good. If you don't like Charlie Kaufman, you're, you have no... No, I like, I like Charlie no, Kaufman. I don't can, like that one. You can go ahead and just back the fuck out of the entertainment industry. Stop doing stand-up. No, you're, you're not, not you're kicked off the podcast. What is Charlie well, Kaufman? <laughs> Charlie Kaufman can suck my dick, no, honestly. You're not allowed to be an artist anymore. Don't talk out of No, I like I like Charlie Kaufman. I just didn't like fucking adaptation. You're not allowed to have a hilarious did you body like, or voice. Did you like any of his other movies? He did Eternal Sunshine. Eternal right? Sunshine, of course. I'm and a, that movie's got a lot of magic. I'm an emotional little thought. I get that. Yeah, but he does magic that, by yeah, erasing well, people's brains. That's I mean, straightforward to me. It's, well, it's magic. Not straightforward. It's it's magic. <laughs> Yeah, but there's that not a confusing the number like of Nick Cage's. <laughs> I get it. It's science. Everyone's going it's in. Science. <laughs> there's an explanation behind that one. There's a machine and shit. <laughs> fucking adaptation. I don't know. And then and then it's a fucking... We don't learn shit about the flowers. <laughs> the flowers seem cool. The little lotus and shit. I'm on board on the actual shit. The guy shit. in the swamp trying to find the yes. flowers. That's your shit. Put me, give me some galoshes. Let me get in the swamp, baby. 
yeah. Kenneth Longer in like. But it my is dick. kind of funny because that movie came out like a month after The Sopranos premiered. And like, uh, Stav, your last name is no, it isn't. Whatever you're saying, it isn't. <laughs> Stav Longer in a man's ass, and it is a woman's pussy. No, no, <laughs> no. that one it feels better. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're gay. oh, what if you have that magical power where your dick is huge, but only in a man's ass? <laughs> would it drive so you? Just be would gay. it drive you to being gay? I think of course, so. Of course. So once again, we return to you not understanding what magic means. <laughs> <laughs> That's you have magic. You have Hold on magic. a second. That is magic. Your dick getting bigger in a man's ass and a woman's pussy. That's textbook magic. That's uh, that is that's the textbook defin- magic. The definition of black girl magic. The most magical guy I know in terms huh? of thinking. Uh, thank you. You you have a magical brain. Thank you. I like that black girl magic is like. Having a LinkedIn page. Yeah. <laughs> it's not magic a, at all. It's magic. <laughs> having references <laughs> yeah, that right. people can call <laughs> <laughs> that aren't fake right. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Business cards. Anyway, I'm just saying that is exactly what magic is. I guess that's, I mean, whatever. I tell you what, guys, this is, I didn't even think about it. The zipper came off my fucking parka. Oh my god! It's North Face, so it's got a lifetime it's, warranty. Yeah, you can send it back. Well, you, I send it back, but then you, I now I just don't have a fucking winter jacket for like two it months. It takes them a long time. Yeah, those so, fucking pricks. I know. I should have thought it's about that. It's the heat that. of the fucking winter. It's the heat of the winter. It's the heat. <laughs> That is the, the perfect winter. way to describe winter. <laughs> it is the heat of it, bitch, and you know what I mean, mm-hmm. both of you assholes. Yeah, the heat the, of the winter. The heat. It is the heat of my <laughs> All right. You don't even say the heat of the summer. You could say the height. It's the, no, it's the heat of it, bitch. It's the heat of the night. <laughs> the heat yeah, of the exactly. Night. You wouldn't even say. Racism. You wouldn't even. <laughs> if you said, "Oh boy, it's the heat of the summer," you'd sound like a retard. Yeah. Well, a heat of the winter, I would argue, makes more sense. It's, no, it does. It's more of a beautiful metaphor. Of course, you would argue that. Then heat of the summer which is too literal but i guess a couple dumb fucks like you don't understand poetry the meat the meat of the bone the meat mm-hmm. of my I'll penis tell you, the meat of the- stop you want to throw one of your classic hypotheticals out you got any- <laughs> they like those they like those yeah i got one let's see <laughs> you could have sex with one cereal mascot <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I'm finishing. I was trying to think of an obvious choice here. Uh-huh. You, get either, you either have sex with the cereal mask guy, uh-huh. or you cut your dick off and eat shit for the rest of your life. <laughs> what well, happens is, is you, got, you get to pick whichever, yeah. and which one do you pick if you choose that option? Uh-huh. And then whose shit is it? <laughs> Tony. Tony. Obviously, Tony. 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 I don't think anyone would. Is there a hot no. lady? Is there no, a hot there's lady? There's not a single. Lady. I would have no. I would have. Actually, how come we don't hear about representation with this? No, story? Kashi. <laughs> no, Kashi is. How about a, how about the Fruit Loops bird is now a, an Indian woman? No. They <laughs> serve and they just. <laughs> no, she just likes the cereal. I don't know. You can say at least one of them. Yeah, the Honey Nut Cheerios B, replace it with the Flonase B. Get a little yeah. Latino flavor in there. I'm trying to have... Does uh, Uncle Ben's grits count? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, does hot cereal count? Yeah. I'll fuck cereal. Uncle Ben, dude. Aunt Jemima? Ooh, now we're talking. Aunt Jemima's pretty hot, actually. She's, yeah. Is she Buttersworth? She got ass. Wait, yeah. who's hotter, Jemima or Buttersworth? Buttersworth. Buttersworth is just a bob. Yeah. <laughs> She's a bottle with a woman's face. It's an amateur is an actual human woman. Yeah. That you could probably physically have sex with. So if the question is who's hotter, an actual black woman or a bottle of zero? <laughs> Does the bottle have a pussy? Have to go with Does that. the bottle have a pussy? <laughs> hey man, everything has a pussy if you put your mind to it. <laughs> what if you microwave the syrup to the right temperature? The <laughs> pussy temperature. The pussy temp. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we all have that button on our microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> right next to baked potatoes, yeah, yeah. pussy. <laughs> you have to wait to listen to the crying stops. <laughs> so two seconds in between sobs. Yeah. You're heating up your... Shit. What do we, we gotta think about summer plans. Summer vacations. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. We're, we're going well, to Canada. Oh, that is true. We are going, yeah, to we're going to Canada for a while. Like two weeks, no? Yep. 
Should we go snowing, skiing? We should go snowing. Should we go snowing? <laughs> 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 you motherfuckers. Yeah, I love what that. I, was yeah. about. I don't know if they got snow in the I mean, summer. I'd like to just <laughs> What? The degree in which you've just turned your brain completely off. Bro. <laughs> to do I, this podcast. I truly, <laughs> truly <laughs> am just, <laughs> just <laughs> asking basic ass questions. Should we go snowing? Should we go snowing? <laughs> No, I think <laughs> I think you got to go pretty north to go snowing in Canada. All right, during let's the summer. go fucking north. <clears throat> oh damn, my apples in the freezer. Can an apple freeze? Yes, absolutely. Fuck. Hold on. Yeah, it's you filled know, with you'd water. Be surprised to find out that most things can freeze. <laughs> Bananas can freeze. What can apples freeze? People can freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? You can freeze like. <laughs> And you're trying to lecture me on the no, cost of man, system. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Understanding will it of, freeze solid? or Because, like, you're grapes... No, no, because grapes don't freeze solid. They still are a little bit. understanding little of, of the physical world. <laughs> 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 what I'm saying is, can it freeze to the point that I can't eat it? That's what I meant. And I'm sorry for and not And how is your apple doing now? I put it in the fridge. Damn. What the fuck is this thing? What's the name? This is awesome. It's the planet Earth. Fuck, dude. What do you mean, what is this thing? Like the Look, cla- Look what he just asked, what is this? That's insane. <laughs> just, There's, is that, what is that, lava? It, it's No, it's <laughs> lights from cities. Oh, shit. It's, 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 it's like a fucking mile above the surface. I thought it planet. was lava. No. Uh, are you sure, man? Yes. Over there at the end, that's not lava. No, these are cities. Hmm. And there's lightning storms, though. That's cool. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, <laughs> what the hell is it? It could not more clearly just nah, be Nah, dude, Earth. that looks like lava. These are clouds. I got the clouds. I didn't think, I thought that was like bright ass lava, but I guess now I sort of see. Well, hold on. I mean, I get it does look like lava. I think it's, it's lava. Not. It's not lava. That's not lights, dude. Well, I don't have my glasses on, but I'm telling you, that's definitely the Earth. It like, lo- all right. The, the, yeah, it looks like. How a city would spread out and be dense in the middle. And nah, bro, like that. that shit's lava. It's not lava. What the fuck? What's bro? that, bro? At the very end, the cracks and shit? More cities. <laughs> it's just those are fucking streets. <laughs> no. It's not lava. We'll look this up later and we'll let you go. Oh, fuck, it's gone. We'll never know now. Thomas, Elevator? Thomas Jefferson invented almost everything. Thomas Jefferson? Yeah, he invented our democracy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Why did you say Thomas Jefferson, <laughs> as opposed to what George Jefferson? Yeah, I don't know. One of the other Jefferson. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly after saying it, I was like, "Yes, you fucking idiot, Thomas Jefferson." <laughs> if you could get it. your dick sucked while getting shampooed, it's that is my ultimate sexual fantasy. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Seriously, I, I get it. I get a seventy five percenter every time I mm-hmm. get my hair shampooed. Yep, I love it by Japanese men. Um, yes, recently it has been by a <laughs> Japanese man. <laughs> Listen, I'm equal opportunity when it comes to shampoo. It um, is erogenous. <clears throat> erogenous? Yeah, my scalp is an erogenous zone. Would you let a man um, massage, give you that shampoo, but was the tip of his penis? What do you mean? Would I allow him to shampoo my hair with his penis? No. But it's the best because shampoo. But hold on. Because hold the, on. The hand, you have I'm ten not, fingers. I'm not done, Adam. Yes. But it's the best massage shampooing you've ever experienced. But you know it's with the tip of a man's penis. Well, if it's the best. Would you allow it? If you're saying it's the best. It's the best you've, you'll ever experience. Fine. <laughs> it's fucking gay, dude. It's not gay. It's the best. <laughs> He's hard, and he he comes in your hair. By the way, at the end. Okay, you didn't, you didn't say ask. That. You didn't ask. Well, if he came in my hair, then I, my hair wouldn't be clean. Well, anymore. he would wash it again with a soft dick. Well, that if he <laughs> washed it again, then maybe. <laughs> Nick, how about you? I don't know. I can't figure. Out. I'm trying to imagine how that would even work. It doesn't work. It, it's China. Hand- it's a Japanese secret. The, that they teach in their little in their hair dojo. The Japanese hands are perfectly modeled for a perfect uh, shampoo slash scalp massage. First of all, you're again, you guys are not dreaming to imagine. This is your, you have 
a uh, real uh, <laughs> is that going to be like the it's the tagline my, of your, that's, yeah, of for, your production it's, it's company gonna, dream to imagine yeah stop it baby it's, no it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be yeah actually yes it is and which it's, means uh, that you're book. not capable of imagination while you're awake you have mm-hmm. to dream to you have, do it you're not dream the point is you're letting hard nick you're letting the real the technical realities get in the way of a I beautiful feeling i don't feeling. visualize i only think in abstractions well there you go think of it abstractly then. i can't Mm-hmm. I can't understand the concept of, <laughs> of a man's penis massaging your head. Conceptually, no. Mm-hmm. I mean, the mathematics have to add up, or it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Me. Yeah, it doesn't work physically you guys in the physical idiots, world, man. Maybe if it was ten guys, you penises. have your eyes closed. Maybe there is. Who knows? If it's you have your eyes closed, mimicking. But see, the thing about the human hand is you have joints, and you have the you have stop the, getting into specific. You already answered, by the way. You said yes. Fine, yes. I don't care. <laughs> so don't try and take back now. I don't even want a regular scalp massage. Wow. wow. Are you yeah. kidding? Yes. I mean, no. Well, you said yes. Well, I meant, but that's when people are like, do you mind? And you're like, yes. I mean, no. <laughs> what a dumb question. What kind of, who is the first that asshole to be like, do you mind if I sit here? Somebody's like, yes. You know, and then he's like, oh, you do mind? Is like, no. Just, Just ask sit. if you can sit yeah, there, you yeah, fucking yeah. asshole. Can I sit here? Mm-hmm. I do mm-hmm. now. I agree with you on that one. What are you, the Riddler? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Just uh, ask yes. directly what you want. Mm-hmm. He's so horny for Maggie Gyllenhaal uh-huh. that he stop, He forgets that he's about There's to die. There's a movie where she's... where I was Secretary? Secretary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where she's getting... I have jacked off to Secretary. Yeah. Yeah, if we, if we all know 100%. the one, the one Maggie Jill. When she had her fastball. Yeah, that's when she was really uh, peaking. Would you, I mean, would you rather fuck Maggie or Jake? <laughs> Maggie? <laughs> how about a serial killer that is trained to use his powers to only kill bad guys? It's like, well, how about you just watch the Iron Giant and shut the fuck yeah. up? Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. Iron Giant already did it. <clears throat> it's right. better. It's about Harry Connick Jr. and a boy <laughs> <laughs> teaching a feared and respected giant. Wait, is the Iron Giant <laughs> live action? Erectile I thought it was a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's, it's, yeah. um, no, it's a cartoon. It's, oh. They didn't actually make a giant. Yeah. We just keep talking about Harry Connick Jr. Is the guy? There's a he, voice. Yeah, he does the voice. Do they draw him to look like? They him? don't draw the voices stuff. Do they, do <laughs> they draw him to look like? The Harry voices Connick aren't Jr. drawn in animation. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, does <laughs> the character look like? <laughs> still does the, does the character look, look like Harry Connick Jr.? Stuff. <laughs> Stop! You can't draw a voice, <laughs> man. Yeah, you could. Come on, bro. I'm saying, does he look like Harry Connick Jr.? You know what? We're hold 30, on. dude. We should know you can't draw voices. Hold on, hold on. Here's why stops technically not wrong. Oh AQ, gosh, because on, on the on the the cell like the you could technically draw a sound. That's wave. what I meant. Next, that's <laughs> what I meant. If you had some autistic <laughs> ability to be able to transcribe sound waves, you could uh-huh. theoretically draw a sound. That's wave. what I meant. Thank that's you. That's what stop meant. <laughs> like grooves in a record. Yeah. So I guess he was right to ask if Harry Connick Jr. if it was. <laughs> If they draw drew a voice that sounds no, like did they draw <laughs> him to look like Harry Connick Jr. No, he's he just plays the voice of the guy. Yeah. Okay. Didn't she molest a kid? Yeah, something like that. I don't know if she molested or she drove drunk with kids in the car. Or some well, that's shit. all right. That's just yeah. being a parent. Would you rather molest a kid or drive drunk? <laughs> drive drunk? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it would have to be drive drunk. <laughs> would you rather? <laughs> Great one. Damn, that that's one. one that even caught me off guard for how fucking stupid it was. How <laughs> about wait, wait, don't fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you were very small, how long do you think it would feel good to be in a microwave? Not for a second. Not even a second. I don't think it would feel good. <laughs> Before you really heat up, it might feel kind of nice. Yeah. It would immediately be cooking you from the inside. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. In like man. three seconds, it would kind of be nice, dude. No, this is why you're so much of an optimist, is that you think that uh, an excruciating death being cooked from the inside would feel no, good. No, did you ever put weed that got wet in the microwave the for like two chair, seconds? How, how good do no. you think that would feel? That's different, bro, because there's it would be nice to feel warm for a second. Before it gets really heated up. That's what the electric chair is like. For real? Yeah. Hmm. The, the electricity mostly just passes over your skin. Mm, mm-hmm. So it, it it burns the shit out of you. 
Well, if at a low setting, maybe that would be nice. That's true. You're getting a phone call, Adam? It's a telemarketer. From your bo- Is it from your boyfriend? I thought it was my cousin, maybe, because he's staying at mine right You're now. You're having sex with your cousin? No, he's sick at my apartment right now. Mm-hmm. So. From all that cock you gave him? I didn't give him any cock, dude. Shut up. <laughs> That's my freaking family. Adam, I bro. used the band aid you gave me, the used band aid for my talk paper cut. Way. He's from Los Angeles. And it, now I, I think I am sick with uh, some kind of immunodeficiency virus. Why couldn't you give me a new band aid? You had to save money on band aid. Well, it's a good band It still has a stickiness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Adam's been finding band aids outside <laughs> on the save, sidewalk to save money. But that on. one, to be clear, <laughs> is from you. <laughs> Although you have been finding them, the one you gave him, the gave him the immunity. I gave him my AIDS, my AIDS band aid. That one is yours. Yeah, it was rude of me. I'm gonna have to talk to his mother. She's gonna be pissed. If at me. you okay, how sick is he? He's just kind of cold. He's got like a cold. Or if something. he, if you could cure him, but he had to lick your penis, would you do it? I think we kind of probably did that when we were kids. So yes, you would. We kissed. We kissed each other's uh, butts or some whatever, <laughs> whatever little kids do. You know, normal. No, I never did that. No, I don't think we did that. But that was my cousin that I did a <laughs> penis party with. <clears throat> He's from Pittsburgh. Is he from Pittsburgh? He's from Pittsburgh. Him and Michael Keaton. Yeah, I know his brother. Michael Penis. You know Dennis. What Miller's if Michael brother? Keaton's yeah. name was Michael Penis? <laughs> Yeah. I still would think he was cool. <laughs> Dude, that would be awesome. That would make it He's even just cooler. He's a decorated yeah. actor named Michael Penis. Dude, I played, I played Batman. I was great at Batman. <laughs> like a marquee just says penis. Yeah. I love Stone it. penis. I'm with you. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm trying. I'm forcing myself to get on that level, but I love that. That'd be cool. Damn, dude. <laughs> He's a great actor. Tonight on Inside the Actor's <laughs> Studio, I sit down with Hollywood actor Michael Pierce. <laughs> I'm James Faggot. Yeah, dude, Michael Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Michael Shannon, but it's Michael Penis. That's good too, man. Yeah. How would you know the difference? I'm character actor. <laughs> I'm actor Michael Penis. A lot of people confuse me with the actor Michael Penis who played Batman, <laughs> but I'm a different Michael Penis. <laughs> Michael G. Penis. My name is Michael G. Penis, not to be confused with the black actor Michael Michael B. K. Penis. <laughs> oh yeah, he's also. Yeah, yeah. Michael K. Penis. Yeah. And, and, they Michael were, B and they were penis. both on that show. Michael Ball's penis. <laughs> <laughs> As many of you know, I'm good friends with the black actor Michael Ball's penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, we share a name. <laughs> <laughs> we share a namesake. Oh, that is good. That there oh, is some shit. good. When I was stuff. preparing for my role in Revolutionary Road, I I drove myself mad by okay. sucking penis. Yeah, Michael Ball's <laughs> penis, dude. Yeah. Michael Ball's oh, penis. Yeah, you know what I mean? Creed. It was very it was nice working with with uh, Mr. Ball's penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike Mikey, I called him Mikey on set of BP <laughs> Ball's penis. <laughs> Yeah, my my small <laughs> penis. I'm a good kid. <laughs> oh shit! When I was in Superman, I worked closely with uh, Robert Downey Penis. He <laughs> 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 was named after his mother, Robert Downey Vagina. <laughs> oh shit! Wow. Mm. Now that's a good one. Now that's why we do it. Yes. That's, that's why you wake up in the morning, man. Hmm. For a riff like Michael Penis. That's why I put my pants on. I am I'm actually in the community theater with Michael Ball's penis <laughs> and Jonathan Diarrhea <laughs> and Scarlet Vagina. Uh-oh. Uh, fuck. <clears throat> well, <laughs> that ought to do it. I mean, we're not topping yeah, Michael that, Penis, that's man. No. Yeah. He, in the movie Batman, Michael Penis... <laughs> You're watching Inside the Actor's Studio with <laughs> Michael Shannon Penis. <laughs> Michael Penis, formerly known as Michael Shannon. And oh, I he ch- changed his name. I changed for because they said Shannon sounded like a girl's name. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it would have been embarrassing. People didn't... I didn't want to be confused with... Uh, sh- 
Sh- the ba- the other the Shannon bitch from nine hundred two one zero. Yeah. Whatever her na- fucking name is. <laughs> Shannon who? Shannon Doherty. Yep. I didn't oh. want to be confused with Shannon Doherty. I so forgot I ch- about that bitch. I changed my <laughs> name to Shannon Penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he kept his blood. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm <laughs> I'm actor Shannon Penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that might be one of the best one of the best oh, yeah. ones, dude. I think I'm, there might be a gas leak in my apartment. <laughs> I think we're dying. Shannon bro. Penis. <laughs> To avoid confusion with Shannon Doherty, Michael I, Shannon changed his name. I didn't want people thinking I was that bitch from 90210. So I had to change my name to Shannon Ball's Penis. <laughs> so now people confuse me with the actor Michael Ball's Penis. <laughs> Well, folks, thank you for paying money to listen to me. <laughs> Everyone that's on Patreon, this is a Patreon episode. And we, we love you for listening. Okay. Yeah, we should watch Forrest Gump with Stav. I don't want to watch that movie. It looks like shit. What do you mean? He goes throughout all of history. He runs a long His time. His girlfriend gives, gives a fuck. Gets I mean, AIDS. It, it isn't a great movie, but I mean, it's not good. Well, you don't. You're not like you're obviously not like a completionist with movies. There's like no. you've seen like the least out of. I've like, seen anyone very yet. few movies. Hmm. And I don't give a fuck about Forrest You've Gump. You've seen Finding Nemo, though. That's a good movie. It's yeah, too sad. First of all, okay, here's the thing about Forrest Gump I don't get. Is that shit supposed to have happened? Yes. <laughs> he so was he a was a real, real guy. I know he's not a real guy. He's Shut a real up. guy. He showed Nixon his I ass. know hold, he's hold not on, a real wait, guy. Are, is your question... Is this is the, <laughs> this movie I understand to be fictional it's supposed to be a real guy in the context no. of the fictional world? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, sort of. That is, what I'm saying that is, is the dumbest no, thing you've ever on. asked on this show. No, it's not. That is. Let the me dumbest. explain. No, let me that, explain. No, that is the let worst one. Let me explain. One. That is not <laughs> the worst. worst. It's a thought. It's a <laughs> thought. Pro- it's a thought provoking question. No, it's, it's a not. thought provoking question no. for us to, to, no. end, to examine. <laughs> because here's the question. That is the worst. Worst one no, it's not. <laughs> and if you let, if you let, it's so stupid. If you let Stop, me, that is insane. No, 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 it's not. And if you'll let me finish, <laughs> okay. Instead of your let's cheap, let's hear about instead it, of your cheap about. debate tactics of talking over okay, me, no and laughing, filibustering, no filibustering. Okay, the floor is yours. My point is, was he really supposed to have run across America without a break that long? Well, he probably <laughs> pissed and so. <stuff. laughs> You're right. That does change the. <laughs> Cause is he some kind of superhero? Is he some? Kind, you know what I'm saying? You're saying how could somebody? He, is he hallucinating these events in the movie? Yeah. Did they really? You're did saying that really can happen? someone really run across America without taking? What a I'm break? saying in this movie, are we uh-huh. supposed to believe in the world of this movie that Forrest Gump is some kind of either superhero or ultra endurance athlete no. or something who runs? He or was walk, he, he having? Walks, he walks across the United States. No, he, he runs. Jogs. He, he jogs walks. most of it. It's a jog. He does most. Of is the he? Su- is that supposed to have really happened? Like yes. in the universe of the movie? In yes. The movie, yes. Yeah, I believe so. He's also yeah. fuck that. He's, He's also fuck a, that. a it's either, I either want man. this shit to be wild. I don't want if there's going to be magic in a movie. He's also I don't want it to be uh, cool not magic. He's also it's, some, it's a, magic. A mentally no, it's disabled person that went to Vietnam and met the president and is a ping pong champion and got pussy. All of that on checks out from his from and Jenny dude, from the hottest. Girl. All of that checks out. He, gets, yeah. he gave Jenny AIDS, which he doesn't can't you know because well guys can't get it. Only chicks. Retarded people or gay guys. Yeah, yeah. Retarded people can't get it. It's called because the extra it's, chromosome it's, fights it's all basically the God's version of double jeopardy. Yes, yes. <laughs> where you can't be what Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, 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 not in the game show. In the like, in the oh, sense of oh, the legal life. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there's never been a case of it. <laughs> yeah, there's literally never been a case of a, a mentally disabled person that got AIDS. I don't know no, that that's, that's true. Not true no. Yeah, can you imagine that though? Part of the so stop, stop. Yes. If I understand, you're like you're against like magical realism. My big gripe right? is if you're going to use magic in a movie, don't use it for jogging. Let him have fireballs. Let it, someone, you know what I mean. Let, let him <laughs> be a sorcerer. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. Don't make the guy. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> don't make the 
guy a jogger. <laughs> Let him fly. Who gives a fuck? Let him fly. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, no, I also, stop, stop. Like I don't a think ping pong champion. Ping pong's fucking cool, but you can become. That's I, magic. I buy that a, a, a mentally disabled man gets good as shit at ping pong. Mm-hmm. I buy that. I don't buy that he can Against jog. the Chinese. If he could play ping pong, why couldn't he jog? Yeah. Because it wasn't because it, it's feasible you within don't the think limits. Could jog it's across feasible America. within the limits of his fucking you know physical abilities. You don't to be think good someone's at, capable of jogging across? I mean, America. does he ever take a break? Does he sleep? It doesn't show the breaks, but like it's implied that it's probably not implied. Probably it's pisses. implied that he goes the whole time. He what the fuck pisses. do you mean it's not implied? It's not implied he takes breaks. I don't breaks. think anyone don't watching know. the movie is like, well, they didn't address <laughs> the breaks. <laughs> Well, that was a big problem for me when I watched it. <laughs> to me, and I wasn't really paying attention, I will admit that. I was only sort of tuned in. But to me, it seemed like they were implying that he ran across America with no breaks for years, I think, years, I think Robert Zemeckis left that up to the audience <laughs> to figure out Well, that's that a failure itself. of filmmaking to me. Right. In my opinion, there's, that's too... I, I I did not deal, deal well with that level of mm-hmm. um, you like you you like all oh, the the eyes uh, dotted and the t's exactly. Crossed. I'm I'm forgetting the word. You're I a details say. man. I'm forgetting the word I want to say, but it's I'll like remember it's it like soon. how in the Titanic, all the plates in the movie had like it's the still Titanic. Your, still your dumbest thing. Yeah, it's really dumb. No, was you was tried it? to wriggle your way out. I of did. It, I it first of all, I didn't tough. need to try anything. Was that supposed to be point. real? Yes, the jogging. <laughs> He, does movie, he have magic powers? Was what happened in the movie supposed <laughs> to be real? Yeah, it's yeah, even I know within the, the world of the movie, it doesn't make sense to me. But there's unless no mag- it does. There's literally no magic. Running across the country with no breaks. They is magic. never say that he doesn't take right. breaks. Well, it seems like he's not taking <laughs> breaks to me. Never. That he doesn't. But that's say. editing. That's like that's it's editing. Edited in yeah, that that's, way that's right. <laughs> in a make movie, it seem like listen a to me. Thing. I don't get uh, the way it was done. To me, <laughs> did not make it clear. And as you far as I'm concerned, I'm really trying to remember the word I'm looking for that would really sew up my <laughs> argument here, but I can't. <laughs> I can't remember it. It's something like it starts with an A, whereas they make something vague. Something hmm. Let's something not say vague. anything until he remembers the word. <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me a second. Fuck. Uh, let me go to thesaurus.com and look up the word vague. It's like. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> it's like, um, fuck, dude. It's like, you know, he doesn't, it's not specific. He leaves it up. <laughs> Ambiguous? And big ambiguity. That's the word I was looking for. All right. Well, I now, didn't deal well with that level of ambiguity in the movie. All right. Well, now I, I agree with that's you. That's so you. Now I you. totally agree that's with you. That's so you right <laughs> up, stop. Your argument consider it sewed. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was in tatters, but now it has been. God so damn! I feel like motherfucking uh, <laughs> the the rage and Cajun over here, dude. I'm out here debating. Uh, James Carville. James Carville. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly like a Carville. It was a Carvillian performance. And I'm about to go get yeah. pussy for my Republican. Well, the wife, question dude. I have is, uh, <laughs> do I, in the retard movie. <laughs> Are we supposed to believe that the retard actually exists? <laughs> Is this Bill Cosby? I, everything turns into Bill Cosby. Yeah, yeah. If I start doing something, I'm like, well, I don't have it. I guess it's Bill Cosby. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Yeah. So anyway, fuck, fuck Robert Zemeckis. Fuck Polar Express. Nah, except nah, for, nah, except nah, for nah, uh, nah, 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 Back nah. to the Future. That was was it Polar Express? Uh, Spielberg and also no. Roger Rabbit. Who who gave Roger him, Rabbit rules? Who okay, gave brain fine. to Roger Rabbit? Was okay, that that's Zemeckis? a great example of something where there's magic that I fuck with. It's cartoon characters. <laughs> One of the cartoons. <laughs> 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 one of the cartoons. One of the cartoons has big tits. I, I like breathe. that kind of I shit. Can't man. Oh, hopefully, oh hopefully, God. hopefully, the damage done to the Jewish community by that video has just completely been replaced <laughs> by the damage Stav has done to the Greek community in the last fifteen minutes. <laughs> just as being the worst ambassador. The God. culture, and then, that, and then 15 minutes ago, having the audacity to call Polish people stupid. Oh <laughs> God! <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Thank you for allowing me to get that off my chest about Ari no, Forrest Gump. No, dude. no, because it needed to be go, said. It's go off season. It needed we're, to we're be letting, said. We're letting our boy go <laughs> off. Too many people. 
<laughs> and for too long have called that a good movie without addressing this glaring flaw. It's a bad movie. It's, it's not a it's good not movie. It's not bad because it's unrealistic. <laughs> it's because it, everyone's seen it. Because it was like an event movie where everyone saw Forrest Gump. And that's why we were saying it was remarkable that you hadn't seen it. Not because it was a good movie. It's like not seeing Titanic or something. I saw that, brother. You better believe I saw that Because you see Rose's titties, bro. That's right. Do you remember the Monday at school after that? I didn't know. I, I went with my family, and then on Monday, everyone saw titties, and it was the best, that the happiest lunch table I think I've ever been a member of. <coughs> that is pretty good, and I respect pretty that. Pretty cool. That's the thing, man. It's like all of these idiots got into comedy thinking it's like it requires being capable of thinking at all. No. And it dude. doesn't. It requires one thing, being funny, which you're not. Yeah. <laughs> not only could, like, it was so funny because he clearly wouldn't go, he wouldn't leave, he wouldn't, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? When it's to get away from something. Flee. No. It's depart. No. Fuck. Abscond. Not not closer. You're closer though. He wouldn't abscond. He wouldn't. Um, it's kind of like fuck. Look at my on hands. On the lamb. Circumvent. No. Fuck. Right. Oh my god! I'm so stupid. Uh, there's a word in my head that means to escape. Not quite. Like he, deviate. Deviate. Yeah. He wouldn't deviate from his set. Indeed, that means escape. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's definitely a. He scenario. wouldn't deviate at all because he, yeah, that's pretty much. It. He was running like the shows were. They asked him to cut his time by five minutes, and he just never would. What That'd if? Okay, great. how about this, boys? What if there was a special dildo? You get a you get a fucking mold of your ass, mm -hmm. and the dildo doesn't even hurt at all. It doesn't feel like anyone's fucking you in the ass, but it tickles your prostate, and it's awesome. Would you do that? Would I put it? Would you? Sh the question is: Would you put a dildo in your ass? <laughs> no, but a special dildo. Oh man, I've missed that's, you. <laughs> that's genetically, that's genetically fucking, mm. uh, you know, designed to not even feel like you're getting fucked. It just feels awesome when it. You only feel it on your prostate, and you just bust hard. But, but it's, it's not, would it's, you? And then there has to be some sort of <laughs> like compensation or. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying, would you put a dildo? Would you put a dildo in your ass? But it's a really special, crafted for you dildo that doesn't. It, it's engineered to not be gay. Yeah. I feel like we're getting dumber in this porn scene. Nah, I feel like first I'm of all, dumb as shit. I feel like that was a great question. That you guys <laughs> should really fucking bat around a little bit. I guess so. I'll consider it. How come lawyers are always trying to become partners? They're like, yeah. I don't want to be a husband anymore. I want to be a partner. I want. <laughs> if my options are partner or husband, I'm choosing partner. <laughs> I'm trying to make partner. Yeah. <laughs> Can't I'm you tired understand? Of all this pussy. I just, once I fuck enough pussy, I can have sex with a man. Once I can make love to to <laughs> Levine and I don't know what, 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 what was another Epstein Levine, and Stern yeah. Berkowitz. Honey, could you just give me a minute? I'm trying to make love to Levine in the living room, please. <laughs> it's such a great story. Why don't you tell it, honey? <laughs> Uh, yes, we, are, we were in Paris, and, uh, you know, Michael, of course, wanted to have gay sex, and so he went into the theater, the theater, it's the theater I went into, sorry, she's an idiot. Sorry, she's, an, she's stupid. She's an imbecile, she's a woman, she knows, she'll never understand the pleasure of having a, a, a dildo specially designed. <laughs> No, that's not what this character would like. Because uh -huh. these dildos are for straight men. Uh, yeah. That's the exact whole point of these dildos. Thank yeah. you. I don't much. get why. <laughs> what, the why whole does point. Why do that? How about it? Because it's specially made to not be gay. Are you not even listening, Adam? What yeah. the fuck? But it is gay. It's, <laughs> How about it's a, not gay. First of okay. all, it's not even gay to put a dildo in your ass. Now, a store that nowadays. In, the, in the post apocalyptic world, I'm opening a store that specifically sells knives used to uh, threaten women. <laughs> and it's called the whole point. <laughs> and it's that's the name of my store. Yep. That's mm -hmm. really good, man. Yeah. A lot a lot of like the newsroom is is bad. I tried yeah, watching the newsroom and it fucking sucks. But Tarantino <laughs> loves the newsroom. Yeah, yeah. Tarantino's got weird sometimes you he get has some weird taste. Yeah. yeah. But, um isn't it the thing I don't understand about the newsroom, isn't it just a a, a show where they go like one year in the past yeah it's all ripped from the headlines so it's then, like then, law and order so of course every time they have the right take 
but it's because they have a year of hindsight to be correct about everything. Yeah, yeah but like somehow they're still wrong. That's, but hold on for a second. That's literally how all art works. That's true. <laughs> it's it's no. all, yeah. It's you're not right. use. No, you motherfuckers. It's, 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 it's always what you do. I make a valid, beautiful you, you make a show the day after something happens? How, what's the statute of limitations? <laughs> no, it's, if it's a make show, a <laughs> show <laughs> that is. I think news guy being a fucking yeah. guy what he's doing he's yeah doing hold on no so i just watched this movie jfk and it's like you know they have all these ideas but it's bullshit because that already happened oh you fuckers so they get the this nah, is, this I motherfucker don't. gets to say oh jfk is gonna be shot it and was a like, fucking documentary that was different the, but yeah i mean you, you they know what the you're gonna power tell me power. i don't trust it it's like you know what give me a show like star trek or something yeah, where they're, actually, guess, they're make making it guesses make it magic stuff. make it I wanna, we know yeah. stuff's magic rules like, 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 you know what something is the show newsroom is it it's it's the only show about things that happened in the past no, absolutely not <laughs> and another rest of it yet again <laughs> <laughs> Act by you jackals, you hyenas, yet again. By my <laughs> that, was a pounce. that was a pounce. But, you know. Wait, they made Newsroom, and fucking, what's his face? Jeff Daniels, fucking Dumb and Dumber, was wrong about shit, but he's always right, because he has the fucking, he gets to be like, it's like, he just calls everything correctly. It's one thing if you do a news show, and the guy is on the wrong yeah. side of certain issues, but he's always right. Because I don't know like, if they're always, I've never seen the show. I saw like two things and they seem to be right about it. Yeah. Them. It's just he's like they're doing a show and he's like, those Covington Catholic kids are innocent. You know, <laughs> <we're> like, <laughs> Jeff guy, Daniels, you're didn't wrong. actually go to Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. No, he's like, that guy didn't go to Vietnam. He's a liar. And it was actually black Israelites calling everyone a faggot the whole time. Who, <laughs> by the way, who, by the way are going to do an anti Semitic mass shooting in a month in Jersey City? <laughs> Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's my boo, 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 boo. whatever the fucking newsroom theme is. Yeah. I'm sure it's gay like that. I can't yeah, even remember, like but boo, 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 boo. just some like NPR flute, <laughs> <laughs> just film reels, and then like but that's old... also the, it's the same format as West Wing. It was all stuff that happened. They like changed yeah. the names of countries or whatever. But yeah, West Wing. Never seen. Uh, it. Yeah, no, I like Sorkin. You like sorking my dick, fat. Yeah. <laughs> what? He got Sork, you there. Sork this got dick, me. Pussy. He got, he you got there. me there. He got me he there. He ain't wrong. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> Feels good to get back on the board after being attacked by my prescient point about the fucking newsroom. Mm -hmm. What else is sorting? What do you mean prescient? Prescient. <laughs> that means you can tell the future. Yeah, and I'm correct. Mm -hmm. when, okay. Watch, All right. <laughs> the newsroom. It will be true what I said. But no, okay. Yeah, but you've already seen. You've already seen the newsroom, so it doesn't count. Answer. You don't get to be right about things in the past. <laughs> you. It's, it's not prescient. It's literally. First of all, it's literally not even prescient. But like it, it you've now involved yourself in your own criticism of the show. <laughs> you can't say watch. I'm going to be right when you got a show, show that already, that already came out. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't have all the facts. So we're in like a little time bubble right now. And when okay. we ape, I will be right. Yeah. I saw a little bit of what, it. Passion it was, of the Christ? Yeah. It was when I was like. I saw it in theaters. When I was that age, I used to like buy one movie ticket at 11 a.m. and then see three movies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, yeah, so I saw, like, an hour and a half. What about it. Penis of the Mice? That, okay. G go off. <laughs> well, it's, it's like kind of like Passion of the Christ. Yeah, yeah. But it's a bunch of fucking mouses with big-ass dicks. Mm -hmm. Penis of the Mice. And still, somehow, Jews are the villains. How about Ratatouille, but he teaches a guy how to fuck? I love that. He's just okay. under the hat. He's mm -hmm. pulling his hair. Yeah. That guy's wife is like, can you take your chef's hat off? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so so how do you This hear rat him? holding the guy's hair? Fucking his scalp. Fucking a mole on the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's just holding the guy's hair up and fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, just like that. How did he hear him in Ratatouille? I've never seen the movie. He know. would pull his hair mm. and it would make you figure out. But how out, did like, the rat see things? I, I don't, know. I don't yeah. know. The movie doesn't make any fucking it sense. It makes no sense, yeah. 
Hmm. Basically, it's Patton Oswalt playing this Jewish mouse. You're on the fucking. You're on the. You're on notice. Pixar. Oswald. Pixar and Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt is in the crosshairs. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're going on the list. Going on the list until until you explain Ratatouille to us. Because we don't get it. Because I don't understand how a rat would tell a guy anything, personally. You know that is completely unbelievable. Does he have? S- I haven't seen that the movie. A, that a rat <laughs> would tell a guy. <laughs> I haven't seen the book. movie. Does the rat possess language? <laughs> it is just. Do that they have some kind of magical you know, connection you between had them? Me at yeah, I mean, it's voiced by Pat Oswalt. You so. had me at cooking, but the rat part that well, is ridiculous. Okay, that's <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that is insane. Does the is this a world <laughs> where the rats talk? Yeah, I think. Or it does is. the guy have a special ability to hear the rat? Or is it completely? I'm not sure I ever is it saw clearly it. not? It's not through language, and he gives him little hints with how he touches his hair. That's. I mean, I know that is part of it. I okay. know that he pulls his hair and gives him directions. Okay, now if he d- uh, uh, okay, so he's not talking to him. But how does the rat see anything under the hat? Do, does the guy live a, li- live a, leave Maybe a little? Maybe he's not wearing a chef hat. No, he is. That's where the rat is. Maybe he cuts holes so the rat can see. But then wouldn't the so people? Well, he probably leaves a little slit. Maybe. Yeah, a little slit for that rat to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting a little slit. Give it a little slit. Get that rat slit. I love Penis that. of the mice. 